All right, how you doing today? Today we'll be taking a look at how to create multiple outputs for addictive drums into Logic Pro. So let's just check this out. Let's get right into it here. So we have addictive drums open. We open it up in a multiple output. Now I find if I do use the stereo and then switch over to this after the fact, sometimes it saves all the settings, sometimes it doesn't. So for today's tutorial, I'm just gonna use the multiple out. We got our drum kit here. I already got a beat loaded up. Okay, great. Now, we're gonna go to the mixer and logic and this little plus button here, we're gonna open all those because we have four stereo, 10 mono signals in this plugin. So now we have this. Still coming out just one channel because we have to go back into addictive drums and set the mixer up properly. So we go to the edit page or the effects page or whatever page you want that has the mixer on it. And then down here, we have a couple options. We have to do this for every channel. We have the separate out pre-fader, separate out pre-fader master, separate out post-fader, and separate out post-fader plus master. Now, all that means is, is, could be a little confusing, but so the pre-fader and the post-fader are with these faders here. And then the plus the master is the master channel here. We can get it like an additional uh, mixing channel if we want in our DAW. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna do post fader plus master on all of these. And then this went like that. And we got them all here. Let's do it again on the overheads as well. Then the bus. Um, so we got all those selected. You might have to do it individually. In this case, when I did it on the one, it went through all kits. Honestly, I don't know why it does that. I think it's just the way it's set up, <laughs> but sometimes it works both ways. So now we have this in Logic. So we have the individual channels selected. Now I'm gonna select all these auxiliary channels that are within the addictive drums patch here. And I'm gonna create a track and that way they'll be in my arrange window if you wanna do it this way. And then I'll just create a summing stack, command shift D, summing stack, create. And now we have that and we could put drums here and we can label these kick and snare and all that stuff. Put little icons in there if you wish. Uh, I'm not gonna do that now because I wanna save time and get through this video. So a couple things here now. So now we have this actually. This is the pre-assigned output. Uh, the one and two is the master. And then they have a kick in the three, four, snare, and so on and so forth. So you can take a look at that. That is in the manual. Within Addictive Drums, you could find the manual right here. Click on that. Anyways, so now here's the thing. So the master is instrument one here because I created the track stack. So it's there. And then these are the kicks. So we don't have to use that. But if you want to get crazy and start doing some, you know, whatever extra manipulation of your sounds, you're good to go. Now, a cool thing about Addictive Drums too is when you change the kits, all your routing stays the same as opposed to like an easy drummer where it just gets all crazy. But um, let's try that real quick. Let's see if we wanna do this blue oyster kit here. So we just load that kit up. So no matter what kit we change it to, we're gonna get the mixer that stays the same. And the last thing we wanna do here, if you want to, you can save this down here as a user patch, and then you have that patch always ready to go. So pretty cool. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Check out my other videos are floating around screen here somewhere, or if you watch this on Twitter, X, or other, some other platform, it'll be in the descriptions below or somewhere. Anyways. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.